that receive what you send to yes, us in this hour. Yes. Thank you that souls are healed, delivered and set free. Souls are prospered. Lives are prospered. Health is prospered. Everything that concerns your people prospers in the name of our Lord. Yes, God. Unhindered and untainted. In any way, form, or fashion. Forever, God, we give you glory. Forever, God. For so it is this hour, this moment. It is so. It is so. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We thank God for you, you, and you. <coughs> God, sure. Actually, we're hearing what I was hearing before I got here. <clears throat> he was saying that to me that it's getting easier. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. He said it's getting easier and it's getting better. Thank you, God. Thank you. I don't say anything yeah. a lot of times, I, I just kind of listen for confirmation. And that was actually oh, confirmation. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I say when people say things, you know if you're spirit conscious. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Be in agreement. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. What you hear yes. and what you believe. And I tell people all the time, anything outside of that, you better stop accepting it. Right. Because you can cause a detour. And you don't want a detour. You spend time in real time in the spirit. You're yes. here. Yes, sir. You're here. A lot of people don't hear because they really don't spend time in the spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you, God. Listening at all the stuff out here. And they don't have a clue. And you can always tell people that really are tuned in. Yes, sir. Because they don't have the complaints as others. People that are tuned into God, and I'm, I'm just kind of carrying this as I'm here. Yes. People that are tuned into God, they override complaint. Yeah. yeah. They override stress because you realize what God says about things. You can't be both. Either I'm tuned into the spirit or I'm tuned into the flesh. And people that tune into the spirit, they will receive of the spirit life and peace. So I don't care what's going on around you. You're always at peace. Yes, sir. Oh, that's right. And God minister to you. His angels will minister to you. Yes. You go back to last Sunday. The angels come in the prison mm -hmm. to get Peter. He was at arrest mm -hmm. against what they were saying. And I'm daily challenging people to tune to your spirit nature. You can sit in church forever and die a nothing, accomplishing nothing, doing nothing, <coughs> and just full of complaints, miserable, stressed, complaints every time you look around, but you talk about Jesus. You can do that for years and years to your grave. Anybody that really tune themselves, they go to a peace and you're at a rest. And then God can do what he was already setting up to do. He already had the angels there. Yes, yes, yes. Acts chapter 12, we had it last Sunday. Yes. He already had angels. And listen, angels are always set up. Yes, yes. God assigned angels to you to cover you and keep you, watch this, that you dash not even your pink toe 
against the stone. Y'all gotta catch that. Thank you, God. He got you all the time, but people don't really tune in that way. If I don't see it physically, then I just don't believe it. But I'm saying I do, but I technically I don't. And people go to church week after week and, 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 and they're not motivated in any kind of way of what God is saying. That explains why their life remains the same. When you're motivated into something, you will put all of yourself into it. You will put everything into it. Why? Because I believe this. When that woman with the issue of blood, when she started out, she started out from her house, yeah. setting herself that when I get there, I'm going to receive my healing, yeah. my miracle. Amen. And she didn't stop. She persevered with the same attitude. Shunammite woman yes. had a dead situation. Son, dead. And we got dead situations, circumstances, pocketbooks, everything else, homes. But she had an attitude. And her attitude was, all is well. She didn't care about death. She didn't care about anything. You saddle up because I'm going to see the man of God. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Even her own husband asking her, is everything okay? What's the matter? What's the problem? She didn't stop to talk about the problem. She didn't stop to talk about our, our child is dead. I'm broke, busted, and disgusted. I'm stressed out. She didn't stop to talk about none of that. She says, all is well. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. I wish I had a crazy praise. Yeah. 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 See, 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 when you tune in to God, you get a God attitude that no matter what's going on outside of you, yeah. you know. Yeah. And you're willing to do whatever it takes to hold fast to your confession of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Glory to the light. You know confidently that whatever you have confessed, it shall come to pass, and you don't let nobody and nothing change your mind about it. Yes, yes, yes. And you persevere to get anywhere in life. You don't let everybody come along and talk you out of it. Right. You don't tell everybody about it because the enemy sets up people to talk you out of what you believe in. She had an attitude. I'm not even telling my husband. I'm not telling the servants. I'm not telling nobody along the way. I got an attitude that all is well. I believe the man of God. The man of God prophesied this over me. And I believe what he said. And I'm not stopping at anything else other than what he already promised and put on my life. You got a word on you. You don't let nothing stop you. I don't care what comes to you. Rockledon can come along and it won't change your mind. Mm -hmm. The devil always set you up to turn you away from your faith. Yes. But you got a church. You got to get an attitude. You got to get an attitude. Whatever it is, you confess it. You can't let anything and everything come along and change your mind. Your rest in the Lord and you being of good courage will cause what God has dispatched on your behalf to come forth. And that's you giving it permission. You can the before the foundation of the world. God said I had already set it up. But it's gonna be you that give me permission to do what I've already said that I Giving him permission. So when God says, "Cut a bullshit," when He turn around and tell you things are getting better, you don't sit there and just say that like it's nothing, like it don't mean nothing. What you're actually doing is showing a sign. I really don't believe it. 
I really don't believe it. See, I'm a crazy person because I, I'm so tuned into God and, and daily, daily, daily as I'm into this, I become more and more fluent with it. Yeah. Because, glory to God, you grow in this walk just like you grow in your walk with the people around you that you got used to. You know what every last one of them think. You know how they talk. You know how everything they say even before they say it because you already know what kind of mind they have. When people spend time with God, they gather the God mind. They gather the God thoughts. They gather the God words. And they will not allow anything else. He said that it's getting better right there. You should be in the praise. Yes. Nothing nobody should even have to tell you to praise. Glory to God. It's automatic because that's your word. That's the word you've been waiting on. That way y'all ain't here. Glory to God, that's the word you've been waiting on. He just answered me. And glory to God, whatever that situation was, he just told me that it's getting easier. He just told me it's getting better. Why would I sit here and continue to worry about it? Catch up. You better catch up. You better catch up. See, I'm crazy. When he say things, how simple it is that he'll say it, I gravitate to it. God talk about shot that shit. Because he don't have to say a whole lot to me. Because, because I spend the time with him, he can just say, son, everything's all right. And I know right there that it is so. I'm in agreement with it. And nobody will change my mind about it. But a person that's uninterested, they're talking and they're worried and they're stressing and they're going through all the time. They don't have time to hear God because they're too busy hearing the devil. And the devil telling you all your problems, what's going wrong, what ain't right, and you just sitting around talking about something you really don't believe. Oh Why is it that you have no faith? Why? How long must I be with you? How long must you talk about me and you still don't believe me? You still, I'm sitting here trying to tell you, you're going to make it, and you still don't believe me. I tell you, just give me a little praise. Glory to God. And you, you need somebody to come and pump you up before you budge. Oh, y'all back and shake your hot side. If you don't preach hard enough, I don't move. If you don't play it hard enough, I don't move. Because somebody got to get me pumped up and primed up and let me make up my mind if I want to do anything. And you will stay on the losing list as long as you remain like that. Either you're motivated for life or you're motivated for death. And you can't tell me you're motivated for life if all you got coming out of you is the dead. Oh my God. My God. I'm trying. No, you're not. Because Peter got a suddenly. Oh, when the angels, he's the instant. See, when you tune Sister Myra to the spirit, when the angel touch you and say, wake up, get up, glory to God, you're getting a sudden miracle. Right, right, right. He's setting you up. Yes. For that thing that God has predestined. Yes. Some of us think we got to work it out. We got to work so hard. We need five jobs. We need ten. Because we don't hear. Uh, we don't hear. Uh, and somebody ain't working nine job. Living ten times better than you. Uh, Going on vacation and enjoying their life. And you steady stressed out for how long you got to work. Waiting on a retirement. Hope I get one. Got to keep an eye on the president because if something happens, I may not get it. Oh, the economy. They talk about the economy. Oh, Lord, what's going to happen to my check? You're worried about all this stuff because you don't have no faith in the God you're talking about. So after a while, you give up. You quit. You walk away. Somebody tell you, girl, I don't know why you waste your time. You say, you know what, I don't either. Because really, you don't believe God. There's no way I could come here week after week and remain the same. I refuse. That's why I told God that this way I got to do it, I quit. And I was very, very, very serious and didn't care what anybody thought about it. Because I knew I was at a dead wall. And if I got to say at this dead wall, listen here. If this all God is about, I quit. Go on and kill me. Hallelujah, oh, because I'm already dead. Right. Y'all don't like me. That's You're talking too crazy. They might have just started talking crazy. I was on my deathbed talking crazy. And I seen God activate. 
Because glory to God. God, listen, it's not that God can't heal you. It's not that he can't deliver you. It's not that he can't get you out. It's not that he can't break through. It's not that he can't come through. You don't give him permission. You don't let him. Simple word. Simple. Very simple. He's already did it for me. Now he didn't come and he told me. It's getting easier. It's getting better. We listen for the weatherman to say, oh, the weather about to turn 50. And you just happy and it hadn't got here yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so true. So true. You're right. Oh, y'all don't hear this. Y'all don't hear this. We get all say, ooh, oh, ooh, we, I'm so glad. Ooh, we, 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 we. But here comes God saying, baby, it's getting easier. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's what they say. Oh, it's getting better. He did it for me. And so I don't say nothing because we don't believe it really at all. <laughs> oh, let me check my phone. Let me see who called me. People sit in church reading. But I'm reading the Bible. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Because what's actually happening is you really don't believe. My God. Some of us in a situation right now, I don't know, Holy Ghost is just talking and I'm going with him. Rather it disappoint you or it make you happy and motivate you to challenge you to get up and do something about your life. Mm. I really am at that place. Look, either you're going to do something or it's just over for you. Mm -hmm. I ain't going with you. That's it. I'm going to keep prospering while yes, you keep sir, going yes, down. Sir, yes, sir. I'm not going to stop. Glory to God. I don't let people weigh up on me and drag me. I learned that because that will put you in the grave. No, 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 no. no. person got a mind and they can make it up and say, you know what? I'm going to go with what he's saying. Amen. And I'm not turning to nothing else. I listened to that message from last Sunday, and my God, I, I want to park and just jump out my car and just woosie toosie all up and down that street. I had that thing on in my car, sister, and my God, word, that thing was just loaded with word, and God was just speaking, and then I'm sitting there driving, like, oh my God, if you, oh my God, let me shut it off because I really am going to stop. Mm. Cause I, I listen, I, because it's I got chill bumps, I got everything. Man, I'm going crazy. I'm sitting, oh Lord Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, they're gonna think I'm crazy. And I just stopped and just started to do that. Man. And I hadn't even finished but about five minutes of it. <laughs> but already, right, just that quick. See, see, it's who wants to get out. Right. 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 So when blind by the man say, hey! See, see, forget all the rest of them that's sitting around and just going to church. Right. Somebody believes yes, 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 yes. that I can do this. Yes, yes. And I don't have to preach an hour to get their attention. Right. I can just be passing by. Yes. Hey, Jesus, yes. thou son of David, yes. you will get his attention. Why? Because he already set it up. He didn't come down your avenue by accident. He know where you are. But if you don't shout out, if you don't get a motivation and an attitude of a victor, you will lose on a road that God said you were to win. Yes. And you'll go before him, well, God, you know, he's going to say, lie, 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 lie. Because you're full of excuses and you sit around with people that don't talk victory talk. They talk depressive talk and you got all that stuff in you. So I don't care how he preach or what he say. I, you know. Some people they shout. And as soon as it's over with, they done. Don't go no further. Before they even leave the building, they come in, go to talking about the problem. Wait a minute, where was you? Because I was just in there, and that thing told me up. When I walk out of here, listen, I don't have a care in the world. I don't care what was going on before I got here tonight. Listen, I don't have a care 
in the world. Yes. When you're in the spirit on the Lord's day, yes. you rest in the Lord and you are of good courage yes. and he's strengthening your heart yes. and sustaining you through the valley yes. while he gets you up out of it. Yes. 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 But it's going to do your permission. Yes. He will not override your will. Yes. You can stay hey, Jesus, thank you, God. And have the Holy Ghost. You can stay sick and know all the Bible. You can stay sick and talk about Jesus and how saved you are. If your faith is not in what you're talking about, it will not work for you. But here the person sitting next to you getting victories all the time. Yeah. And then you're trying to be like, what, 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 what? Give me Hebrew 4 and 2, let me show you. King James Bible. Y'all don't have to crack the Bible to be in the Bible. I'm in the Bible. Yeah. When I walk up on that floor and just start talking, I'm glad. Because it's the spirit that quickened. Yes. Amen. And the flesh brought me nothing. <laughs> if you would spend more yeah. time in this right here, yeah. honey, you would get out of that stuff. But you can't get out because you don't give this enough of your time. Yeah. You give them more of your time than you do this. Yeah. I can't give them all my time. I'll be dead. I have moments I get away from everybody yes, yes. because I have to. Yes. You got to do this, brothers. How bad do you want it? 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 Don't pass me a note unless it's a victory. What Bishop saying? I don't want to hear what nobody else saying. My pastor on the floor. I don't want no note. Don't pass me nothing. Glory to the Lamb. See, how bad do you want it? Oh, I got to get there. There's a word for me in there. I got to get there. Now I need to take it. I need that take it. I need that take it. I'm going to have service Friday night. And I'm going to have service Friday night. And I'm going to have service Saturday. Then I'm going to have service Sunday. I'm going to have service again Sunday evening. I'm going to have it Monday. I'm going to have it Tuesday. Come back here on Wednesday, and I'm going to have it Wednesday. I'm going to have it Thursday. Yeah. I'm coming back on Friday. Why? Because I want it so bad. Yeah. I'm too desperate to be denied. Yeah. And I'm coming with an attitude. Yeah. When you ask me, is everything okay? Yes, it is. Baby. Hey, yes, it is. Yeah. Everywhere along the way, you ask me, is everything okay? Yes, it is. Yeah. Baby. I ain't got time to stop and talk about the problem because I'm so motivated to the answer. God's already got a plan. He had to be going the foundation of the word. Glory to God. I'm going. There's a word up in that house for me tonight. I'm not going back home like I went. I've been running and busy and going all day to day. And, and, and I had about 10 minutes to get to the bank. Mm -hmm. And I got in the bank. Lord God said, I got service in one hour. Amen. And the lady looked at me and she was like, in one hour? She was like, uh, what type of minister are you? Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, are you one that's got to lay it all out? Or are you one that just let it flow? Mm -hmm. I looked at her before I could say anything. Words come out of my mouth that said, I am that. I am. I am. Amen. And she looked at me. She said, wow. I said, I'm just like y'all working at the bank. Y'all don't have to prepare. Y'all come to work because you're professional at what you do. And when you're a professional, special person doing what you do, glory to God, you already know. So I said, I walk up in there and glory to God, I got word getting on that flow. And don't have to study nothing. Right. Why? Because he's already talking. <laughs> he's already talking. Glory to God. All he needs is somebody that'll listen. Yeah. Oh, y'all better come on. Yeah. All he needs is somebody that'll believe him. Yeah. Glory to God. I I'll do it. Anybody that'll believe me. Glory to God. Rather than somebody on the street corner, downtown, in the bank, in the school, wherever you're at. All he needed is somebody that'll believe it. Will you be the one that believes? Yeah. Don't be them people that sit around there and get nothing. Yeah. And, need, and here comes somebody else, get delivered, get blessed, break out. And you still sit there going to church. Oh, come on, yeah. 
I'm not here for you to just go to church. You got to walk in this place on purpose. That's you got to right. tune into that internet on yeah. purpose. That's There's right. a word on there for me tonight. Yeah. 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 And I'm going to get it. I'm I'm gonna gonna get it. Get it. Yeah. When I go Thank into them know. seminars and them workshops uh, uh, that be on the, the, the webinars, that be on the internet, they tell you to shut everything off mm -hmm. and tune right here to this webinar. Mm -hmm. He said, if you don't do this, there's no need of you being on this webinar. Right. And they tell you to cut everything off. If anybody ever been to yeah. any of them, y'all know exactly yeah. what I'm talking yeah. about. And yeah. this is the way you got to be when you step up in here. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh -uh. Shut everything down yeah. and let me hear. Yes. He that hath ear, let him yeah. hear yeah. what the Spirit is saying. Because there is an answer. Yes, it is. But are you listening? Yes. yes. Are you willing? Yes. yes. Are you obedient? Yes. To do this thing? Yes. yes. Huh. It's not grievous. It's not hard. You got to want it. And you got to be willing to do whatever it takes. I don't care. That man of God walking to that woman, though, I know that man physically thinking, you think that man lost his mind. My husband and died. All I got is this one little meal me and my son going to eat. And we just going to sit here because these creditors, they have to, they want everything. We don't have nothing. So we just going to sit here, prepare, eat, die, whatever's going to happen after this. And he turned around and said, hey, okay, all that's all good. Give me something to drink. Give me that dinner that you got. Let me eat. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Yes. But you know what? A desperate person don't care. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It don't meet the need as a seat. Well, I know that's right. And this man of God walked up here to this door. Glory to God. I, I listen. Because apparently something's going to come behind this. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. And that woman was blessed to go take care of all of her debt. Supernatural debt cancellation. Oh, come out of nowhere. Come on, y'all better come on here. Yeah. Come on and start the business. You got a oil plant. Glory to God. Yeah. Full of oil. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You can go yeah. feed and help a whole bunch of people. Yeah. Making you a billionaire. That's right. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. But it's how bad you want it. So yes. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to tell my flesh what to do. That's right. I'm tired of him telling me. That's right. I want the best. I want the best. I'm yes. God's child. I'm God's child. I'm not the devil's child. This world will have no rulership over me. What y'all say? I'm God's child. I'm God's child. Man, he said that our Lord over all of this, Lord God, why am I still sitting around here 50, 60, 70 years still living like a slave? Because I really don't believe, man, my kids sit up and be looking at me. Oh my God, I'd be like, what in the world are you at? How you sit up one of our children and we prospering and you go in an opposite direction? But I'm like Donald Trump. <coughs> Donald Trump told his own kids, if you all don't run this business like your daddy, I'm firing all y'all. Mm -hmm. right. He challenged his own kids. Because why? If you ain't going in this direction, why call me Lord, Lord? Mm -hmm. I'm quitting. I'm going all right. Come on. I'm going on. Right. That's all ready to preach. Mm -hmm. sure yeah. yeah. Gee, it's time, honey, that you stop sitting around. It's time that you get motivated for life. Yes. You got to live each day like it's the last. Yes. Yes. I got my miracle today. I got my miracle. Whatever I believe in, listen, all I have is this moment right here. Yes. And I'm putting, blending every force I have yes. into what it is I am believing. Yes. And I counsel anything that's set out to distract yes. me. Anything that's set in the way because God said I empower you and I cannot do anything beyond you because I gave you dominion in this earth. I've given you charge over the works of my hand. Baby, if you don't change your mind about it, nothing outside of your change. That's right. Tell people in a minute, listen, you can keep looking at me or you can get up and do something. You got a choice. That's right. You're not trying to please me. No, no, you're not trying to please me. I tell people, y'all stop that. No, 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 uh -uh. you ain't trying to please me. Right. If you're not doing this for you, mm -hmm. don't do it. That's right. That's right. I've been around the church long enough, and I know how they do. Mm 
And they'll do stuff just to get by to please you. But they really don't want to do it. Come on now. And I'll tell you in a hot split second. And won't call you, won't bother you. Listen, go do whatever make you happy. That's right. That's right. All I want to see come up out of you is what God wants to come out of you because you're his children. Yes. Yeah. I'm his messenger yeah. to get you up. And if you don't want to be challenged to get up out of that dung here, I can't do nothing about it. You try to please me, you will lose. Yeah. And I'm steady prospering. Yeah. I'm steady advancing. Yeah. But what's the matter with the kids? Mm. It ain't mom and daddy's fault. My youngest boy had plenty of clothes, but he kept choosing to go pull out the same stuff every day. And he and we buying clothes and clothes and clothes and clothes, but he would pull the same stuff out every day. Like he didn't have nothing else. I told, told mama, listen here, wait, we ain't doing this no more. If that's what he's choosing to do, it's not our fault because he has plenty. And I look at you and I say, listen here, this is not my fault. You got plenty. Yeah. If you don't get up in that closet and pull that stuff out, glory to God, God done preached, God done taught, God done gave you. He said, I heart, you won't dance, you won't move, you won't do anything. Yeah. If you don't get up in there and pull out what God is saying to you, honey, your losing will be your own fault. But oh he's giving you more than enough. He did not bring you here to lose. You don't sit on this earth to lose. He didn't send you here for that. He didn't send you here to be a slave to this world. He sent you here to have dominion in this world. You're not here to live like that. You're letting it take your attention because you don't have no focus for your life. Without a vision, you will perish. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Without a vision, you will perish. If you don't have a vision, if you don't have a goal, if you don't know where you're going, you're driving on a road to Detroit, Michigan, only takes about an hour. It's taking you 50 years. You still ain't there. You're lost. Yes, yes. Because you're going to hearken to the direction. You could have been there 50 years ago. 49 years. 364 days. And 23 hours. Is that right? Yes. Or 24 hours? 23 hours. 23 because you got the one hour. I'm giving you an hour to get to Detroit. <laughs> you're still not there. Where you at? See, GPS will navigate you, but it won't drive the car for you. Right, right. You got to make up your mind. Listen, I'm going to get in this vehicle. In the name of the Lord Jesus that he can give me. <clears throat> and from the spirit of God in me, we're going to drive this car. Yes. Yes. I'm going to follow what this navigation is telling me. My losing day is old. My losing day is old. I'll never be lame another day in my life. All my lame days old. I am vibrant. I am vibrant. I am energetic. I am powerful. I am strong in the Lord my God. I triumph. I win. I am a champion. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am happy. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am love. I am joy. I am peace. I am success. I am prosperity. Do something. And God is showing you what's the problem, but you don't see it. 
for you're looking for sympathy. I declare your sympathizing days are over. You arise and you be all that your father God created you to be. If you done living, don't hinder me. I say it again. If you done living, don't hinder me. Don't waste my time. But when you stand before me and I declare over your life, baby, you got a choice to receive it. Oh, and I receive it. Or you just lay there and keep begging. Ain't no different prayer coming. Ain't no different word coming. You need to go back to the last word. Y'all don't like me. Yes, sir. Brother Bishop, I'm your coach. It's supposed to be. I'm challenging you to get up. Go get your house back. Yeah. You should have been dying in your own house that God and gave you. Yeah. Can't live. Can't be at peace in your own house. That's the devil. Sure is. You ain't taking nothing away from me. Shut up. That is a lie. And enjoy vehicles that God didn't give me. Because I'm sitting around worried about how I'm going to pay for it. I'm worried about, oh, no, if they do this, oh, they don't do that. Oh, they don't. So you place it, everything back out there again. But you came in here and say God blessed you with it. But you went back out there and said, how am I going to pay for it? Who <laughs> this is so tough. It's a sailor moment. Yes, sir. you getting your behind up. Ah. Ah. You gonna do something? Yes, hey, hey. God. You don't have to live like that. You better get up. And y'all sitting up there letting that man? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Because he challenging me for change. Yes, yes, yes. And anybody that's tired of living like they've been living, they'd be running up in this place. Please, please help me. Cause I'm tired of living the way I am. Yes. Tell people that ain't hungry like that. Don't waste your time. Just go on, stay there, and watch CNIS and then and whatever <laughs> or whatever stuff is. And go on and go on and do what you do. Glory to God. People out here day by day seeking life. Yes, sir. And you sitting around with stress, depression. What the devil doing to you all every time you look around. And God already telling you what you need to do, but you don't want to hear that. Mm, yeah. You're looking for excuses. No, I need to hear God. Yes. Because he got an answer for this house. Yes. 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 He know what the problem is in this house. Yes. And it's right between hmm. your ears. Yes. You are not listening. That's right. That's right. It's not what you came for. I pray I'll lose Asia. all my internet family. My Lord. But if you really they, want to get they up, blessed. The I word, know they blessed. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can get up if you want to. Yeah, that's yes. right. And you've been able to get up from day one. Yes. <coughs> when God gives you an avenue out, you got a choice to stay in or come on out. Yes. I don't care what it was in the past. It don't have to be no more. That's right. That was then. This is now. What am I going to do with this day right Hallelujah. here? Thank you, God. What am I going to do with it? Everything around you is building themselves up to who they are. And you still run around lame talking about Jesus. Don't come to me with that. Because if that's real, there will be some proof. And not a track either. That's right. A Bible scripture quoting some stuff. You don't believe. Come on now. Fix yourself up. Mm. Pick yourself up. That's right. Watch how good you'll feel. That's Change right. your clothes. That's right. Go on, take a bath. That's right. Clean up. Yes. Put some cologne on. I was in the dollar store buying my cologne till I could afford real. I know that. Now I got it. But anyway. <laughs> But I did what I could do. Why? Because I'm on a mission. That's right. I won't stay on the imitation. I know that's right. right. I'm working myself up to the real deal. Yes, yes, yes. And I give my imitation to somebody else that's on their way. That's right. That's right. Y'all gonna hear this. Yeah. You do what you can do yes. as you're stepping. Yes. 
Yeah. You don't stay there. That's right. If you leave this year, 2020, December the 31st, the same way you came in this year, honey, listen, you just woke up. Make sure you got some life insurance. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. But I'm, I feel like that man. Is it if your God isn't enough to give you $15 to come here every night that I'm here in town, then you need to shank him. <laughs> and I totally agree. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Because some I see people laying around like, can I just get five dollars? I'll give it to you on the first. Mm. Can I borrow some, some gas money? Oh, they about to evict me. Now wait a minute. You you own the thing that you ain't paying for twenty five dollars. And you get evicted. Yep. Right. Your lights cut off. Yep. And you ain't paying for ten dollars. That happens. Gas. Oh, come on. What in the world? Where are you at? Where are you? This is a little tight, but it is right. Yes, right. Amen. But I refuse to just look at you and hallelujah and see you just continue to ruin yourself. When I know you can get up and do better. That's right. That's right. Them people ain't your problem. You are your problem. That's right. Now they won't treat me right. They won't know, baby. You won't treat you right. Because you are a recipient of how you treat yourself. Get me out of here. Take me. <laughs> so you treating yourself. It's tight, but it's right. And you're blaming somebody else for your lameness. You don't have no respect for your own self. But it's somebody else's reason why. When I got tired of that, listen, and God kept beating me down about it, I had to be the one Jesus. to do something. Right. Right. It wasn't the preacher fault. It wasn't mama them fault and all the other people fault. I realized, listen, you can change and recreate your life at any given second. Starting right now. That's right, that's right. I call myself a victor right here and get it down in my spirit if I don't know another word. Just call him. Listen, I am a victor. Honey, you are a victor. Honey, you are a victor. You're beautiful. You're handsome. Let's go. You'll start shifting your atmosphere. From that, everything got ears. Yes. And your, listen, your biggest conversation is what you say to yourself. That's right. I ain't trying to be religious. So no, I told you to stop looking at me like that. I'm not trying to be religious. You had that. And where are you? I'm giving you the real deal so you can make a choice. That's right. From reality. Yes. Because people are doing it every way. Yes. Out here. Yes. And they're seeking out people. I talk to people don't take five minutes and they got it and they go and, and stuff happens for them just like that. Yes. And I look at the same people I've been giving it to for years and years and years and still don't have nothing happen. Still coming, I need prayer. I need prayer. Can you help me? Can you help me? <laughs> I need some help. Y'all don't help me. I ain't coming back. Mm. It's the church fault at this. They talking about me in that church. They just let me listen in. Yo, <laughs> your own self. <laughs> and you're walking in a guilt of your own crazy self. That's it. Crazy That's it. Yourself. That's it. Come on now. I tell people, go on, do what you got to do, because they ain't moving me because you say that. I haven't heard that enough in 19 years. That I listen, I, you ain't phasing me. Sure. And which one is that? Right. Because the real you will be up. <laughs> that outside you will continue to diminish. Don't call me. Because I'm going to tell you the same thing. Get up and do what God said. Some of your problem is you don't even pay tithe. Mm -hmm. And you're mad. Come on, they, come they, on, Bishop. They say something about time. Mm -hmm. You're mad. Mm -hmm. 
You start right there. Let me get in obedience to God. Let me start paying tithes. Stop looking for excuses for that. Right. Right, Bishop. Jesus. I can't afford it. Yeah, you ain't going to never afford nothing. Can't afford nothing. Because the enemy is seeking <laughs> ways to devour you of every uh, penny you got. Every penny. And God, you looking at your God. Tithe. He says, start tithing. Right. Start doing what I tell you to do. This is too rough. For some no, of rough. I'm looking at a hundred people that's getting up. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yes. God has proved it to me all the time. Yes. You stay focused on me, you can't lose. Thank you. He'll tell me that all the time. Yes. I'm, I'm your, I, listen, I'm your inheritance. Oh, God, thank you. I'm your inheritance. Yeah. And if you got God as your inheritance, baby, you got everything. Yeah. You can pull all your offerings, everything. I ain't doing nothing. It's fine, baby. You're only hurting yourself. Yeah. Good. Only way you stop me if I let you. Mm -hmm. And that's why I stay on the wire every day. Jesus. They did everything. Get Nehemiah down. Get him down. Bring up this. Bring up that. Stole some rocks. Mm -hmm. I ain't coming down. Mm -hmm. I'm building. Yeah. Yeah. And anybody that's building ain't got time to be focused on all that other stuff. Right. Hallelujah. And you'll start attracting the right people. Right. You'll attract the right company. Yeah. Yes, Lord. But you keep talking that lame talk, you're gonna keep attracting them same type of people. Mm -hmm. As within, mm -hmm. so without. As a man think in his heart, he attracted it to himself. But I think nothing of myself. Don't get mad because other people don't think nothing of you. Mm -hmm. Just go and take it. And then you know what? I'm the problem about this mm. because I don't think nothing of myself. Jesus, Jesus. I am royalty. Yes, I am. Man, if y'all go through that Bible and see all the stuff God called you, yes. you God. and really get it and really declare it Jesus. and confess it Jesus. out of the good deposits of your oh, heart. heart. You will bring forth, yes. Matthew 12, 35, you will bring forth good things. Out of the evil deposits, you'll bring forth evil. Yeah. It's all coming out of you. Yes, Life sir. and death is in your tongue. Yeah. Yes. God placed it all out here. You got a choice. Don't wait for it to show up before you believe it. Believe it before you see any sign. Come on, you're right. No, that's right. Thank you, God. And watch the favor. Yes. yes. Watch everything start lining up. Yes. Yes. It's all coming out of you. Yes. Change what you're thinking. Change how you talk to yourself. Yes. And religious people would have been around. I would have said that. They'd be like, oh, you blaspheme. Because <laughs> they don't have a spiritual revelation. Yeah. But you say, I am that. Okay. I am. Yes. They want to destroy you like, like they did you. You blaspheme. Jesus. You talking crazy. Jesus. What you on? And it's only because you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Jesus turned around and looked at him and says, Have I not said in your own word that you are God? Mm -hmm. But yet, you want to destroy me? Mm -hmm. See, it's not his fault that you don't walk like a God. Mm -hmm. It's your fault. Because he called you a God. Yeah. I'd be ashamed to talk about God and don't have nothing as evidence. Mm -hmm. Start talking to me and have a conversation with me. All you hear is the devil talk. <laughs> Even in the vocabulary. That's all you got is devil talk. Don't have no peace talk, no love talk, no joy talk. Everything's a devil. I'll kill you. they cut you. <laughs> oh, they did this to me. Oh, they did that. All oh, that's the devil talk. You got to change all of that. That's right. 
Sit down a person five minutes and all they got is that. No, you, you, no. you already know where they're going. Excuse yourself. I don't have time for that. And don't feel bad about it. Well, you know, that's my best good friend. Come out from among them and be separated. I, I got friends that you know not of. I'll put them in your life. No man that sacrifice for my sake in the gospel that I will not now and have not now in the other translation. In this time, giving them a hundred. Well, what do you really believe? Take inventory. What do you really believe? Not trying to please people. What do you really believe? You get by yourself and talk to yourself. What do you really believe? Believe. Tony, what do you really believe? What do you really believe? And watch the answers. Mm -hmm. Shut everything off. And watch the answers start coming back. Yeah. And don't run when you start hearing it. Oh. Be willing to face it. Yes. I'm going to conquer this. Because God is trying to show me what my problem yeah. is. Yeah. What you focus on, where the what, where the where the mind goes, this is a good one. Where the mind goes, energy flows. Mm -hmm. That's not what he have you. He got stuff better. That's right. Yes, you keep holding up yourself. You up a minute, you're down the next. Up a minute, down the next. You're looking for something outside of you to make you happy. Mm -hmm. When what's in you is so much greater. That's right. That's if you right. get happy in your own self. Ooh, yes, Lord. You won't be validated or need to be validated by anybody else coming along to make you happy. Amen. Y'all like me? Yes, I love it. Yeah. 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 Don't a child of God supposed to be broke. None. And when you learn the principle and you act on it and do what he said, baby, you will never be broke. That's right. Looking for no hand me downs or nothing. Hallelujah. God set up an answer and stuff and before I can finish a sentence. Don't tell me it's not real. Mm -hmm. It's real, Bishop. It's real. Good. She is real. I needed $700 to, to go take care of the situation. And I turned around and headed to the bank. And all of a sudden, I said, you know what? I thank you. My mind will say, take that. Somebody brings me that money. Mm -hmm. And I won't have to go touch it in the bank. And I come here to this church and have it sitting on my desk. Amen. Amen. More than seven. Amen. Amen. God will do this. Man, this is what I'm talking about. And it ain't whether you get it or don't get it because he's still God, whether you get it or That's don't right. get it. That's right. That's he's still God. That's right. Because somebody out here is going to believe it. That's right. I believe. You won't have no reason to stay in that shape. Give yourself permission to get out of it. Care who you make mad, upset, talk about you. So what? They talk about you anyway. Right. I'd rather you talk about me while I'm moving forward. Yes, most definitely. Then you keeping me down and talking about me and I ain't going nowhere. That's right. Don't talk about me. Want me to come over here? Uh, when was that? Wednesday, I had that meeting over here. The afternoon. Then she starts off. And she mentioned this place here. They say, yeah, that woman, she was talking about you gotta get two or three churches in there to be able to sustain that because of what she wanted and all this, that, and the other. I said, sister, can I say something? She said, yes. Yeah. I was like, uh, we don't have nobody here but us. Mm -hmm. What? I said, nobody here but us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna have no two or three churches sharing no church because we can't afford and we talking to God and we shopping all over the place. We went over there to that east side property and that man sat up there and told me what we had to pay. And I sat there and looked him in the face and he said, you gonna be able to do that? You don't have the people to do that? You don't have no backing? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> I have no other answer. Because why? You going, yeah! Come on, Bishop. Yo, please let me go. <laughs> you going by what God said. Yeah. And he will always put you in a predicament where you got to use your faith. Got you. Yeah. 
Thank you. Ain't gonna have you in no five dollar situation. <laughs> you don't go put faith up on the shelf. Mm -mm. You keep faith at work. Yeah. Yes. Keep it at work. Yes. And you don't stop at one accomplishment. That's right. You keep it working. Yes. But you don't want no dust collector. That's right. He didn't give you that faith to go sit down somewhere and let it collect dust. That's right. You challenged tonight. Yes. I don't know who the Holy Spirit is trying to get to, but whoever you are. Please, brother or sister, whoever you are, hearken. Hearken. Because I promise you, if you do, tonight, everything will shift forward. And I can promise off of what God said. Because I'm hearing him. I wasn't supposed to be here this long, but if he tell me to talk and somebody pulling at me, I got to I got to put it out until yes. he turned me loose. Yes. Because he's trying to get your attention. Yes. You can get about it. Yes, thank you. He'll cancel it all. Yes. But you got to stop looking to the government. You got to stop looking to jobs and looking to everybody else around here to do stuff. That's right. You got to look to the Lord is my source. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. He is my help. Yes. And I will not fear what mere humans yes. can do unto me. Yes. And he promised me he'll never leave me. Oh and he'll God. never forsake me. I don't care what I'm at. He's right there too. Yes. He's my very present help Jesus. in my time of trouble. Yes. He said, will you release me? Let me do this. Jesus. Release me. Let me do this. Give me permission yes. to do it. I'll get him. Jesus. I'll kill everything trying to stop you. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I don't can't yes. use no whips, no pumps. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Be strong, James, in the Lord your God. Yes. And in the power of his might. Yes. You can't lay lame. Get up! Yes. Peter, get up! Get your stuff on, let's go. Yes. Oh, glory. Hold on, my lady, this flow. Man. <laughs> <laughs> get your stuff on! Jesus, 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 Jesus. Can we take off? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 